The one word that comes to mind when we speak of an AI is intelligence. Of course, intelligence is the name of this game, isn't it? It's after all called artificial intelligence. But what if I tell you that AI in itself is not very intelligent, at least not in our standards? What if I tell you that AI normally puts an intelligent face on her own and there is one guy in the world of AI who actually makes an AI intelligent? What an irony, right? Well, maybe I should say bring quote-unquote life to an AI or make an AI realistic and this guy is called an AI agent or AI together with her agent is called agentic AI. Let's understand this agentic AI today and as always, try to bust some myths. Let's go. We normally hear of agents for movie stars and agents for authors. What is an AI agent? Well, before we talk about that, let's go back to one of the statements I made earlier, that is, AI in itself is not very intelligent. What do I mean by that? If you ever played around with ChatGPT or Meta AI, you would probably be thinking that I'm nuts given how smart these large language models are. But if you dig into how these work, you may start to agree with me. For example, I asked ChatGPT what the capital of France is. She told me it's Paris. Then I asked her, what are the major attractions there? There is the point. She gave me a long list of Paris attractions together with their descriptions. Pretty impressive and all good thus far. Then where is the problem? She even remembered the context from the previous question and answered a follow-up. Well, did she? This is where AI on herself tries to put an intelligent face. What if I tell you that she kind of cheated here? Before answering the follow-up question, she actually went through the chat history again to remind herself what the previous question was because she doesn't really have a memory nor has an ability to maintain the context. You know, it's like she suffers from a short-term memory loss. Again, she's essentially creating the context by reading all the chat history. But who cares how she does it, right? She's demonstrating that she understands the context. So why do we care, you may ask? But here is the issue. AI has a limit on how much far it can go back to contextualize things. Once the limit is reached, you will start to feel like AI is having dementia. If you recall in one of the previous videos around conversational AI, I have given enormous credit to AI for claiming to be able to have conversations almost 40 minutes long. That's a lot of data to go back to, read, understand and quote-unquote pretend to be following the conversation if it is using that approach. It is an absolute waste of resources and it will also slow things down tremendously. So what is the solution? How are AIs like AIR be able to maintain the context? That is where AI agents come into the picture. Instead of burdening the AI to keep the memory, the agent will take care of its surroundings so the AI itself can focus on what she does best. Essentially, the agent becomes the mediator between the actual AI and the surroundings, including but not limited to keeping the context of the conversation in this particular case. You know, kind of really putting the AI in the right focus light, very similar to what agents in the physical world do. But agents play a much larger role. For example, expanding on the topic of mediation, they capture the inputs from the surroundings and feed them to the AI. They get the response back and feed it back to the environment. This input can come in many forms. For example, in a self-driving car, the agent gets the inputs from the sensors such as cameras and feed it to the AI. The response that is generated by the AI is fed back to other tools in the environment such as the brakes or the steering wheel so they can operate to steer the car appropriately. The agent, in the case of a smart thermostat, gets the input from various sensors and feeds the input to the AI the output of which is fed to the actual thermostat so it can be adjusted.
The agent is not only acting as a, you know, a real agent, but also automating the process, taking care of inputs and outputs to the AI instead of depending upon humans for the same. Well, depending upon humans? That doesn't make sense because agents are relatively new, but AI didn't depend upon humans for inputs prior to the concept of agents were invented. So how did they work? That's true and that's because the input, output and processing logic used to be hard-coded prior to agents. AI agents bring true automation to AI saying goodbye to hard-coded programs to control AI. So in short, this agentic AI is a major leap forward in the world of artificial intelligence. But similar to how agents come in different shapes and forms in the physical world, AI agents also come in various flavors and capabilities, each built for a specific purpose. For example, at the very basic level, there are simple agents that process basic transactions but still come with quote-unquote short-term memory issues. Then there are agents that keep the memory and perception maintaining a quote-unquote state along with the history. Then there are agents you can give a goal to and they will come up with a plan to execute it to meet that particular goal. There are advanced versions of such agents that are also capable of choosing the best path to achieve such goals when there are multiple ways to achieve a given goal. Then there are agents that can learn from mistakes and even take feedback, also known as learning agents. Each agent is different and the right type of agent depends upon the particular need. For example, in many cases, keeping the context is not necessary, in which case a simple agent would suffice. All right, here it is, guys. Agentic AI or AI agents and how they make the AI more intelligent. But if you think this is amazing, wait until the next video where we talk about how another concept brings even more intelligence to the world of AI. Until then, goodbye and take care.